it's Kimberly Miller from Huglonger Digital Designs, aka the Umbrillion's Nerd. And today I want to talk to you about merging stitch files. Perhaps you have two files that you want to stitch together um, on an apron, and I'm going to share with you how easy that is to do. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a new page to start with. And there's a few ways to do that. You can go up to your file button and you can go file new page. What I like to do is I just go command end. You'll go control end if n if you have a PC. Now that we have a new page open, let's grab some designs. And there's also a couple of ways to grab your files to merge. You can go up to your file button near the top of the page and click on it and scroll down to merge stitch files. That is an easy way to do it, but there's even an easier way with Brilliance Essentials. There's a little button at the top, mine's near the right, and it shows like two sheets of paper with a needle. And if you hover over it, it says merge a stitch file. I'm gonna click on that, and then my files on my computer come up. I need to know where these files are located. And for me, I have them located under Hug Longer, Hug Longer Designs. And there are the two files that I want to merge together to stitch on an apron. One of them is already highlighted here, the grill. I also want the Love Texas file as well. So I'm going to hold my command key or control key if you have a PC, and I'm going to click on that as well. Now, if we go to the top, you're going to see the button that says Import. I'm going to click on there. And there it is. Now we have both files into one page, but we don't want them to stitch like that. So we're gonna to need to move the Texas Love. I'm going to click on it over in the objects panel to highlight it, or I could click on the design itself, either way. Um, and then at that point, I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna move it up. I think I wanna put it in the grill cover. So I'm going to twist it a little bit, move it a little more maybe. Now I wanna resize it and I'm going to hold a shift key while I do that and I'm going to resize it just a little maybe move it down just a smidge and there we have it now it's all ready to stitch on a pot holder or an apron perhaps for Father's Day anyhow I hope that helped you learn how to merge two stitch files together into one page for embroidery thanks for watching